What's up, everybody? This is Randy Quest, Poetics.com. When I'm done with it, you're going to be playing Where the Streets Have No Name. And this style of riff delay guitar, the edge style guitar, just like this. I'm going to play the song and play along with it and show you what I'm Shut it off and show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. First of all, we're gonna tune up though. So let's tune up right now, okay? Hit your E string, and while while we tune up, I'm gonna go over a couple things with you. First, subscribe to my YouTube videos, wherever it is. I don't know if it's on this side or on this side. I, I don't even know. But subscribe to my YouTube videos and then go to questpoetics.com. Subscribe to the free guitar lessons that I offer. I deliver them to your inbox every week, absolutely free. I normally charge people a ton of money for them, but for you, it's going to be free, man, because you know what? I like you. I love you, in fact. So, anyway, there's your E and there's your A. As well as go to the podcast, rhymeandmelody.com. It's a wicked podcast. Go to the podcast page on my uh, website. And you can get free radio shows that we do about music, uh, about how to make a career out of music and whatnot, like I do. And yeah, man, check it. So here we go, man. Let's get this started off. First, we're going to go over how to get your delay setting. you got to have a, a, a delay pedal to get this U2 style vibe. If you don't have a delay pedal yet, go get one, man. You can get one by Boss for really cheap now. Go Like the one that I use is a, a Boss DD2. It's an older delay pedal, but it works, right? you got to manually set it, but you get the point. So what you want to do is in the beat, beats here. Now, you don't want the delay to go ding, 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 ding. It's not, then you're not going to get the... You want the, the the delay if the beats here you want it to go dun, 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 dun. almost like a triplet feel if you don't know what a triplet is I'm sorry but th copy this delay right here I'm gonna go one two three four <coughs> copy that delay and you'll be good one two three four <coughs> so in any beat you're gonna have to adjust the delay time to what your beat is say your beat is here you want your delay to go dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four. See what I'm saying? All right, so now that you've got your delay set, copy that delay, and now we can get on to the lesson. All right, so I'm going to point this down so you can see my fingers and not necessarily my face. So what, you're, what I do, this is how I play. I know the edge plays. He plays it another way. Which is cool, but I just happen to do it this way. So it's it's a, it's whatever you want. So we're gonna start off on the three, five, seven, no, tenth fret. I bar these two fingers with my these two with my pinky here. See that? I'm just going dun 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 dun. dun. Let's start off with that, okay? One, two. Just do that for now. Just do downstrokes and see how it sounds like you're doing more. So what you're really going to do is upstrokes. So I'm going to take off the delay and we're going to go over exactly what we're doing so you can hear it clearly. See what I'm saying? Okay, now you put in that delay and this is what it starts to sound like. Check it. See what I'm saying? Now, what you want to do too is don't just do the open. You can't really hear the definition of the delay. What you want to, what I do is I mute it with my palm over here. And I'm kind of lifting on this hand, I'm kind of lifting a little bit. So it kind of kills the, the string. I'm just basically doing, without the delay, it sounds like this. Instead of going. Because then you don't hear the definition of the delay. If you want to get that defined sound of the edge. See what I'm saying? 
So then, and, and what he's doing, like during the verse, is just. And then you can just keep that shape here. So it's basically pinky on the 10th, bar the 987. And then add your finger here on the uh, eighth fret, the middle finger, and take it on and off. So then you go. So if you ever have, are in a band and you're, someone's playing a D, instead of you playing a D, the same thing as them, add some flavor like the edge does and play this. See what I'm saying? It's a D. See that? Tune it up there. So that's basically how you get the 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 U2 uh, that sound on uh, on where the streets have no name. But dude, it's pretty synonymous with all of his songs, man. He does that all the time. So make sure you go to questpoetics.com, sign up for the free guitar lessons, tutorials just like this, but not so much uh, uh, doing cover songs, but learning how to write your own music, do your own thing, be your own artist, make a career out of music. Go to my go to my podcast section on the page, subscribe to Rhyme and Melody as well as the other musicians' career, whatever I named it, um, podcast, and I go over tips how to make this work for you as a musician because. Because it can, starving artists, it's a myth. You gotta work your arse off, so to speak. You gotta work hard, man. But if you do it, man, you can succeed. Subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to my YouTube videos, check them out. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this all together. We're all gonna learn together. I learned from you. Send me your lessons, please do. And we'll learn together, man. You guys are beautiful. Keep up with it. Stay positive up here when you're doing guitar because it takes a lot of work, but you can do it, man. So, peace. You guys take care. Have a good one, man. Agenda.